The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Nashville, Tennessee, the Queen, Taylor Sweet. We're just moments away from what will likely be one of the most exciting six-man tag team matches we've seen in a very long time. Well, given the two teams we have assembled here tonight, I would say I have no choice but to agree with you, Cole. Japan, Man Nick Carl. It doesn't get much better than this guy, six man tag team action. Coming up next. Actually, Cole, it can get better than this. Let me just find where they plugged in Saxon's mic. Give me a minute. I'll take care of it. Now time for our huge six-man tag team match. And I can't think of any competitors I'd rather see go at it right now than these six superstars. This one's going to be great. Plenty of action coming up as we have six of WWE's top names ready to go here. Oh man, Michael, six-man matches like this always remind me of world class back in the 1980s. And we're underway with six of WWE's top superstars going at it. Looking at the six competitors we have in the ring tonight, I think it's safe to say that we're oh. entering dream match territory right now. Forcefully delivered. Oh, boom, what impact. This might be it. Oh, 
my. Beautiful technique. Tag made. What's in store here? Drop toe hole. Elbow drop with authority. Oh, nasty impact. She's starting to feel it. But I'd be surprised if she doesn't find a way back in control of this thing. You sound surprised, Cole. Come on. Think about who she's in there with. This was bound to happen sooner or later. Thanks to Raw General Manager Kurt Angle in May of 2017, the WWE Universe saw a dream team come together when the Hardy Boys joined forces with the lunatic fringe Dean Ambrose. The exciting trio took on Sheamus, Cesaro, and The Miz. Truth be told, both Miz and Ambrose blended in with their impromptu tag team partners pretty well. Byron, we always make a point to talk about continuity amongst team members. In the six-man match, where Dean Ambrose teamed with the Hardys against Sheamus Cesaro and The Miz, both teams worked very well together. That surprised me, since this was the first time they teamed together. But there was something that night about the lunacy of Dean Ambrose fitting perfectly with the Daredevil Hardy Boys. I've got to say, I had goosebumps for a week after the Hardy Boys returned to WWE at 2017's WrestleMania. During that six-man on Raw, Team Extreme formed an effective trio with that lunatic Dean Ambrose. After a twist of fate from Matt Hardy, Jeff crushed The Miz with a swanton bomb, and that was all she wrote. She might have it. She's looking at it. Nailed it. This could be it for her. She might have it. Running power slam. Victory is on the hook. Look at this. Ref found a two count. Clearly not enough damage done. Harsh impact. Something that is always important in a six-man match is having the ability to perform double-team moves. One of the things that successful six-man teams try and execute are double team moves and then have the third team member perform a signature or finishing maneuver to deliver maximum impact to an opponent. Three. Teamwork is always paramount in a six-man tag match. Superstars want to be able to have a level of teamwork where two members of the trio perform a double team move and the third member follows that up with a move so their opponent is really down for the count. The key is to deliver the maximum amount of punishment to your opponent in the least amount of time. You have until the referee's count of five. It's not like you have all day in the ring, but if your team of three can deliver that type of offense, your trio will be in good shape. She's out of it, guys. Yeah, she's leaving herself wide open here. Authority. She's starting to sweat a bit. She's got two very capable partners in her corner. Now might be a good... Oh, and she makes the tag. And not a moment too soon, Michael. Boom! <laughs> this might be it! Oh, my! She's starting to falter here. She's got two partners in her corner itching to get in there, guys. This isn't your traditional tag team match, guys. These matches require a... Ooh, what impact! That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. She's calling her out. Here we go. Perhaps a powerbomb here, Corey. Beautiful technique. This one's over, guys. That one was even more impressive than the first time we saw it. There are instances when a six-man tag match will feature a team where superstars have not only... She goes for the cover. And the count's broken, keeping the match alive. It's not over yet. 
Impact. Corey, earlier you talked about what needs to happen when members of a six-man team have differences or had differences in the past. If the team can't find a way to get on the same page, they will not last very long. Someone on the team has to step up and make sure for at least that match, everyone on the team can work together. And that's easier said than done. Just because superstars might be favorites of the WWE Universe or have a common enemy, that doesn't mean they'll get along. It also doesn't mean that any past issues will magically go away. In this business, people have long memories, so if someone sees an issue on their team, they need to resolve it right away. There are times during a six-man tag match where the hostility between two teams overflows. The result is complete chaos, and all six superstars duke it out inside, and many times outside the ring. It's complete and total chaos. But if you're one of the legal competitors in the ring during that time, you must return to the ring before the referee's 10 count or risk being counted out and lose the match for your team. Byron, you talked about the moment in six-man tag matches when all semblance of order breaks down. Many times the two teams are so determined to tear each other apart that they don't pay attention to who the legal person in the ring is or where the referee is in their 10 count. That's a huge mistake. Throws of battle, superstars lose their composure. Oh no, we know what this is. She better do something fast. She fights out. But that doesn't mean the damage wasn't already done, Michael. Oof. Oof. She is on fire. Oh, talk about getting flattened. Yeah, she's going to be feeling that one for a while. There it is. She's made the tag. And her partner is on absolute fire right now. Look at the look in her eyes. She's in the zone now. In 2016, the New Day found themselves in the middle of a sick and twisted rivalry with the Wyatt family. Things escalated to the point where Bray Wyatt invited the New Day to do battle at the Wyatt family comp. What's this, Corey? I think they're looking for the Romero special. Oh, no, Could it's it over. Be? There it is. And she escapes the submission. Not a lot of people can break out of that one, Michael. Corey, we've talked about six-man tag matches, and earlier you talked about one that caught the attention of the entire sports entertainment world. The New Day fought for survival amongst the darkness of the Wyatt family compound in a battle where pickaxes and cinder blocks were used as weapons and automobiles were used as battering rams. The New Day versus the Wyatts at the Wyatt family compound was not your traditional six-man tag match, but it showed what could happen when issues between factions can't be resolved through a sanctioned WWE match. I'll tell you what, none of the men who fought in that conflict will ever be the same. Six-man tag team matches have been a staple of competition since the early days of sports entertainment. Two teams of three compete against one another under traditional tag team rules. Stipulations can be added like no disqualification, two out of three falls, elimination, falls count anywhere, or whatever else someone could think of. Matches can also be held in a caged environment. Six-man tags can be fought under so many different types of stipulations. Teams can be part of a faction. Look out, there's the tag. And that changes the entire outlook for these women, Michael. Look at her go. Taking off her feet now. And you're not going to win many matches down there. I can tell you that. you got to believe this one's over. Man, she knows how to make a comeback. Belly to belly suplex. She goes for the cover. One. Digging deep for a kick out. She got her shoulder up, and we continue. All <laughs> right, after blow combo. That's all she wrote, fellas. And this has got to be it. Two. Very often you see six superstars of this caliber competing at the same time. She's so close. Oh, and she makes the tag. And not a moment too soon, Michael. Oh, what a right. Man, that's some attitude behind it. Ah, oh, come on. By any means necessary, Cole. Didn't have to dig very deep to kick out of that one. Nah, not yet. Too early. And the slam. That should do it. That slam just gears the cover. All the way up and around the world. What an amazing six-man tag match.
These ladies put on quite a show. Here's another gander. Look at her go. Who could forget this? This was another great moment. And last but not least, there was this. Here are your winners, Ali, the Idol.